Welcome to today's video. If you watched my previous video, you know we reviewed how to make Sudoku, word search, and crossword puzzles, which are all done with free tools and websites. If you missed that one, I link it down below and you can check it out later. Now you are watching part two, which will cover two types of word puzzles and a great free maze generator that will save you tons of times when creating your maze books and without further ado, let's begin. Our first word puzzle is cryptogram. Let me first show you what a cryptogram puzzle is. Well, a cryptogram puzzle usually looks something like this or for simpler puzzles like this one with a small clue. So what you see here is an encrypted code or sometimes word, and we have to solve this to guess the actual phrase. You can give away a few letters to make it easier or leave it without any clue for maximum difficulty. So to make a puzzle like this, we have two components. The main part of creating this type of puzzle is to convert our codes to cryptic puzzles, which is this part. And then we shape that encrypted code to a puzzle, which is what you see here, like this table and stuff. I reviewed dozens of books and three most popular formats that I came across are as photos. The most popular one looks like this without any clue or table. But usually at the end of the book, you can find some hints just in case you're stuck on a puzzle. For this type, all you're doing is converting your sentence to an encrypted line and that's it. There is no step two. This type of puzzle is usually used for adults puzzle books. The second most popular format is this one in which we have a table of letters and you can disclose one or two letters as a clue and then we have the encrypted code with a line on top or bottom of each letter. So the user will first fill the ones that are disclosed on the table and then try to solve the other letters and finally guess the actual code. Similar to this one but with a different format is this one. So we have the encrypted code and then below that we have some blank lines and as you can see the number of lines in each group corresponds to each word. So I have five letters here and also five lines on bottom. And as a clue, we already disclose a word in the middle. Okay, enough with the samples. Let's create some puzzles. To convert a sentence to an encrypted puzzle, I'm going to use a Google Sheet. There are plenty of online generators out there that will generate a puzzle for you in a second. But I couldn't find a free tool that allows for commercial use. So I decided to create my own generator in Google Sheets. Creating this file is actually very easy. I may also upload a separate video about it later, but for your convenience, I will upload this file to my Gumroad shop and you can find the link on the description. All you have to do is to download this from my Gumroad shop and you can then follow along with me. As you can see, the file is color coded for easier use. So when you open the file, you should have two sheets generate and cryptogram for now let's open the generate sheet and you can pretty much ignore the red parts and all you need to do is to enter your sentences on the white spaces there is room for 50 codes and each sentence can be up to 100 characters including spaces so if you have a sentence that has more than 100 character just break it down and enter the second part in the next row so I have a list of codes here and I'm going to enter each of them one by one on these white spaces like this. Just copy and paste. Once I'm done, I'm going to go to the next sheet here. Now click on row one here, scroll down to your last row, mine is just 17, and then hold the shift key on your keyboard and press on that last row. This should highlight all of your rows like mine. Once all selected, copy with Ctrl and C, and now you can paste this one at any text editor that gives you the option to paste without formatting. 
If you're using Notepad or Notepad++, this happens automatically. And you can simply paste it with Ctrl and V as usual. But if you're using Word or Google Doc, you need to right click on the page and choose Paste without formatting. I'm going to use Canva since you can use it for free. Now go to text, click here, and I'm going to paste my text with Ctrl, Shift, and V. If you want to, you can increase or decrease the size, and I will also add an extra line between each sentence. Now to format our encrypted code to a puzzle, if you choose the first format, you don't need to do much. Your puzzles are ready, but for the other two, we need to add a few things. So for this one, you can use underline for each letter and disclose one or more of the words as a clue. And for this one, I have a table of letters, which I can copy and paste for each puzzle and give out some of the letters for clues, like this. For our next puzzle, I chose a word tile puzzle, which is much simpler to create than a cryptogram. Let me show you how the puzzle works and we will get to the creation in a few minutes. So what we have here is a code or a sentence that is broken down every four characters and placed on a different ties. And the goal here is to place ties in the right order to guess the sentence. For word ties, I'm using imtoolbox.com website, which you can generate your puzzles for free. And I confirmed with the owner that we can use these puzzles for commercial purposes. Okay, let's search for word tile. And then you can put your sentence here and choose the number of characters on each tile here, and then click on generate. And this will give you a table that has all the tiles randomized and ready for our book. For this puzzle, I'm going to use my Google Sheet. You can use your PowerPoint or Word too. All you need to do is to copy and paste it here. If you have a table that has empty cells, you can just change the color of these borders or reduce the weight to zero to remove them. So I'm going to highlight all the empty cells, then click on these carrots, then choose the first option to highlight all the borders, and now hold control on your keyboard and click on the ones you want to keep. And then on top menu, change the weight to zero to remove the highlighted borders. Now just copy and paste this table again and change the font color to white. This way we can fill out the empty table with the ties in the right order to guess the sentence. For our last puzzle, I promise I have a great easy to use maze generator. So I'm on multimazegenerator.com and from the home page, just click on generate and first select the shape of your puzzle from the drop down list menu and then select a style or algorithm you want the maze to be generated in, and then type the height and the width in their respective places, and at last generate your maze. And that's it. You can download your puzzle in your desired format, and this will download a zip file, which will include the puzzle and the solution. You can drag and drop your file right here in Canva and create your interior. All you need to add to this is the puzzle number to correspond to the solution number at the end of your book. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and bye-bye.